Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vintage Inspirations. Today's a bright and sunny day, and it's so quiet. Thank God that music band didn't come out to that skate park down there. So it's so peaceful. I mean, when you have like a peaceful Saturday, your brain and everything just can relax, and it comes all the way down into your neck, to your pelvic, to your feet. It's just amazing. Yes, and you can also um, achieve those... Uh, relaxations with breathing techniques just google it they have a bunch of stuff yoga and all type of things but anyway this is part two of the display the di dioramas <laughs> the diorama boxes that was the first one that we made it's so adorable i love it i don't know where i'm gonna hang it up at i guess i'm gonna have to sell it yeah I, i'm really trying to get me a um antique booth I can't find any. You know, land is so full. There was one, but that price, there's no way I could afford that. There's no way. Um, I wish I was monetized because um, the, the fee on monetization helps you a lot with things like that. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to continue this one. So let me put the camera down and let's get started. If you're new here, um, go back and watch part one. It's a diorama and I was doing Christmas themes. So that's why I painted the two display cases green. I wish I had bigger cases because I have so many things to put inside. So I'm on the lookout for some. I'm always on the lookout for display uh, boxes. I never see them. Never, never, never. Okay, let's go down and see. Let's get started. So I guess this is going to be part two. Yeah. So um, I was using the beer. I was looking for another beer. Let me cut his string off. Wait, this is not straight enough. Okay. I cut his string off. He's so cute. Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. And this is the only one I can find. He was in a canoe, but I just popped him. He came right out. And um, his arm is off, though, so we need to attach his arm. And I don't know if we have room for this fishing pole inside there. I think we do. Okay. So let's attach his arm. I think we can just use some glue. Let's give it a shot. If not, I'll have to use like a little peg, but I really don't want to do that. So let's see if this will work. I think this should work. So far, so good. Yeah. I'll just hold it for a few minutes. You know, one thing about that glue gun, it sticks automatically. Okay, it's that easy. So he got his arm now. His other arm is awfully swabbly too, but the peg is there. So I'm just going to tighten it. Yeah, I'm just going to tighten his peg to make his arm. Okay, that's simple. So now both of his arms are up. You got to be creative with your uh, knickknacks. <laughs> you really do. I don't know if I want to keep his fishing pole, but I mean, I guess it'll add to the um, whimsical. So I guess we'll leave it at this point. Okay, so we need to start. Um, I didn't like the green, but I'm not going to paint it over. So we'll just leave it as is. And I'm looking for the base. Oh, here it is. So this is the back. This is the back, especially for whoever's tuning in for the first time. This is what was in there. So we're going to use the back as a base. And I want to put this in the back. And I've never worked with this. This is my first time. I picked this up from, it looks like the Goodwill. See the sticker? For 99 cents. Yeah. Not sure. What do they sell this at? What brand is this? Floral Garden? I have no idea. Um, well, I could, you could just Google that and then you can find out where to get this from. And it's kind of like a mesh in the back. 
and then some like grassy leaves and stuff in the front. It's cute. So we're going to measure it here to this piece and then just cut. I think it should cut. Yeah, it's cutting good. And don't throw out the excess. Say, put it back in that wrapper and save it for another project because you will need it. And we got a small piece, but that's substantial. We could use that for something else. In the future, you'll probably see me use it in another project. See, let me save that for another project. Okay. Let me see if this is going to fit in. I might have to trim it up a bit. Yeah, I think I have to trim it up a little bit more. Oops. Remember, this sits in the frame, so this has to be a little shorter. should do it. I think. Let's try it. Yeah, you want it to like kind of fall through because it's going to be stuck to that. I cut off a little bit more. I wish I had some more of that pot puree. I think I have one or two pieces left. Oh, I have more pot puree jars. That's right. No, I need to cut this again. It needs to fall through because you don't want it in the way and then that cardboard will not sit in the frame and you won't be able to secure the box. So I'm trying to get it to fall in. It's barely, barely doing it. A little bit more. Okay, well, I think that'll do it. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that to here, like that. And I'm centering, putting it in the center because this needs to go into that frame. So I'm just going to use some glue. I mean, a glue, glue, a glue gun. I'm about to say glue stick. This is a glue stick. This is a glue gun. <laughs> right? But we tend to mix it up from time to time. Okay, and that stuff hardens up really fast. And I'm not going to waste this green stuff and just put it back. Never know what you might use it for. Most likely I'll have to grind this up and use it for grass or something like that. Because there's really not enough piece to do like another backdrop unless you have a small area. Because nevertheless, it's grass like this one. It's just attached to that uh, backboard. Yeah. Okay, so we that's that. And now, let's move this out of the way. Oh, maybe we'll add a few more. Some of this pot puree will add a few to here. I have very little left. So uh, let me see. He's going to be here. And this little guy is going to be here. So maybe I'll put them like that. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Um. And that bear is so little... I'm going to have to give him some height. Okay. 
Oh, Melrose, these would be some good projects for you to do. You can take to your store and sell them. You know, I used to go to a store and there was a lady, she used to make um, similar things. I mean, not necessarily this, like she would make like for Valentine's or Halloween, they used to sell like hot cakes. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm sure you have things like this in the house. It's just simple, basic craft supplies, you know, and small little figurines. I know that your customers would love to buy these. And like, okay, now Easter's coming. You could make some Easter ones. And I I'm, and I, I hope all my own subscribers try and make these. They are amazing. So I found this little drum. And I think that will look cute because I couldn't find anything else. You know, to, you know, to sit him up high because you see this bear is high. So we want to give him a little height. And I also found this country stool. I mean, at least it looks country with the heart. <laughs> and um, so I'm guessing this was a stool for thread and someone actually painted it and put heart. Now, that's a great crafting project for you and your kids or you and your husband. Yeah, you could make like sweetheart ones and give them to one another. That's so cute. And I like how they made it country looking. They put the sky blue with the heart with the, the, uh, the dots in it. So it looks country. But I don't feel like painting today and that just won't go with the green. See, so that's why we're not going to use that one. But if I didn't have, if I didn't find that drum, I would have just painted this red or green for the, because you know, these are, this is Christmas what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do now is we need to, um, I want to put some grass down in here. So let me see, how am I going to, am I going to use the glue gun or the glue stick? Mm. I'm not sure. But let's put the grass out first. I'm running out of these, so I really need to find some at the uh, thrift store. I, oh, I need to find out where they sell it. be enough. You only need a little. Let me see how it's going to look first. Oh, I got way too much. Okay. Well, that's how it's going to look. And we'll be adding a little bit of that snow as well. But I wanted to make this one different and give it another layer. So that's why I wanted to add the um, some greenery to the bottom. Let me see something. Oops, the whole thing. I was pulling out a piece of that glue stick and the whole thing fell out. Okay, anyway, we got the idea. I just don't know how I'm going to stick it down there. I guess I'll just put glue everywhere and you can see. I hope you can see. Because I can't do it backwards. I have to be able to see on my side. But I think you can see through that glass. So I just... So put the glue gun. It's just that simple and pop some in there. And I think that should be enough. Yeah, that should be enough. And you want to make sure it's not going to be in the way of that frame. Remember that frame has to go back in. I wonder if we should put some on the sides as well. You know, like the inside here. Mm, let me see how it, would it look. Oh, it doesn't look bad, but I don't know. That might be too much. Mm. Put this back. Oh, I had wanted to talk about carbon monoxide. So yesterday when I was doing the display, while I was on um, intermission, you know, letting that paint dry, my carbon monoxide, um, what is it called? I guess it's a um, 
it's not a machine, carbon monoxide device. I guess it's a device. It's a little square box, and it's to monitor the carbon monoxide in your house. You should have that along with an alarm system. I mean, a smoke detector. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you should have an alarm too, but a smoke detector. So it's carbon monoxide. It went off. It was so odd because I've never heard it that in my life, you know, that, that beep. So I didn't know what was going on. So I was thinking the batteries were dead. So I just uh, took it down. And, um, well, before I took it down, I was trying to read it. So I had to get my glasses. And I would let that dry a bit. And as I was getting my glasses, when I read it, it said to um, immediately seek fresh air. So <laughs> I ran outside. <laughs> I got kind of paranoid because, like I said, that never went off. So I called my landlord. He was just as shocked as I was. I guess he never had that issue either. So I said, well, I'm going to call Scanner. Scanner is a gas company that provides us gas in Atlanta, Georgia. So I called them and they said I have to call Atlanta Gaslight, but they just uh, transferred me over. So the lady was right there and she asked me a few questions and she sent the guy out. He came immediately. Like, this is really important. I didn't even realize how uh, important it was. I never even thought about it, you know? So he came, he did a few tests, and it kept beeping. So he went outside because he said, well, maybe my batteries are old. I said, no, my batteries are not old. I just put new ones in. He said he had to make sure. So he went to the car. He got some new batteries. He came back, and he put the new batteries in. The second we put them in that, in that uh, device, that thing started beeping, beeping, beeping. It didn't take a second. So that meant it was a lot of carbon monoxide in the house. And we tested each room. It, it, it beeped in each room. It was ridiculous. So um, he couldn't find anything in the house. He was asking me, did I use the heater? Did I uh, burn something? Was I cooking? Did I use the, uh, the central heat? I said, I didn't touch any of that. In fact, I was filming. I was just sitting down on the phone, relaxing, waiting for some paint to dry. I thought it was the, like fumes from the paint and all these bright lights on it. Like maybe it was steaming some type of aroma or something, vapor in the air. That's what I was thinking. So I automatically turned the ring light off, my magnifying glass light off and all the other lights. So he was like, no, that wouldn't do it. So he said he had to check the crawl space. And I was like, oh, okay. So when we went out there, first he looked inside, he was like, kind of like scared to go in because it looks kind of spooky. I said, there's no rats, no rodents. I can tell you that much. And I spray at least every three to six months. So I don't think it should be any uh, insects, uh, cockroaches or nothing like that. You probably will find some spider webs because I can't get to them to take them down. But I kill all the spiders. I never even see spiders. When I moved in here, there was a lot of spiders. I had to keep spraying and spraying and spraying. I've never seen them since, but so he was like, good, if you're saying that, then I feel safe to go. And I said, I promise you, there's no rodents under there. It just kind of looks spooky, but there's nothing in there. So he went, got his knee pads and he went in there. He told me to go back in the house and put the heat on, the central heat in there. So I put that on, went back out, and he found some, um, some piping, like the, um, the return, the pipe, I guess it was like a pipe channel. I'm not real sure of the terminology of it, but it was uh, broke. It like rusted out. Yeah, so that's why I was having the carbon monoxide. So it's very important that you get carbon monoxide detector. That's what it's called, carbon monoxide detector. I said device. <laughs> it's a detector because you don't know if something popped in the crawl space unless, you know, I, if you go in there a lot, you know, me and my disability, I can't get in there. So, cause you have to crawl down. It's so called a crawl space cause you have to crawl in. And then once you get inside, you can stand up, you know, but so, uh, that's just, you know, I'm just warning all my subscribers and all the people who's tuning in, please, please, please don't forget to buy you a carbon monoxide device because you can't smell it. You can't hear it. You can't taste it. I would have never known if that uh, detector wasn't hanging up in the um, hallway. And I'm so grateful. So I just slept with the, the windows open and I barely slept because I was petrified. Somebody's going to come in the window. I think around three o'clock I said I can't do it anymore. So I just locked them and, and just pray, you know, God be with me. Um, and so this morning I had all the windows open again, not all, but the ones on that side of the house and I had the ceiling fans going, you know, and so now when I put the batteries back in the, um, detector, it doesn't beep. So the fresh air is what gets rid of that. So it's very important. If you do detect that, 
Make sure you air the house out from top to bottom, whatever fans you have, open up any windows that you can and get somebody in to, to check. So let's get back to this. But that's very important. Okay, should be dry by now. Let me get you back in the shot. Okay. All right. So, oh, I think I was supposed to glue him first because now he can't glue, get glued, you know? Oh, no. Because you have to glue him to the base so he can stand there. It's no problem. I'll just move some of this grass around and find a little spot and let's get him in there. I want to put the glue on his feet because I wouldn't know where to, you know, to do it. So, And I put a nice substantial amount because you don't want him to fall out. You know, when you buy displays, pieces are always wobbling around. I hate it. It always happens. That's because they didn't secure it good enough. Okay, I think he's good enough. And then, let's pop this one down. Got to find a space for this. And we'll put him on top. Okay. Oh, he likes darling. <laughs> Can you see it? Let me add some more grass. Since I pulled it all out. And then, I think we can put another, another little figurine there. But I think we're going to add snow. I hope the snow doesn't mess up the grass because it looks so cute. We might need a little Christmas tree or something, too. You know what? Before I put the snow, let me see if I'm going to glue something else in here. Oh, maybe we could use some pine cones. Let me see. Let me see. Put a few pine cones. There's really no room because they're quite big. I had some smaller pine cones. They were jewelry, but they were uh, like gold. Let me see how it looks. Um, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. And maybe some of these red things. Let's see. Oh, no, they won't fall. Okay. There's one. We can put one down there. That one's too big. I'm going to have to try and dig that out. Okay. Too big. It's cute, but I have to break them up. These are some pot puree. That's all it is. I'm going to break them up and then just drop them down there. And then I don't know is the... Is the snow going to cover it, you know? You guys think I think it looks cute. It looks cute. Real woodsy. Then we'll have that background and maybe really make it pop. I have these little trees. Maybe we can get one or two of these in just for some extra backdrop.
I'm just putting glue on it. That's all I'm doing. Okay. I don't know if we should even add snow because if the snow messes it up, I can't take the snow out. So, no. I don't think it should mess it up though. It's got to make it look nice. Okay, let me look at it. Wow, it looks like Christmas. <laughs> can't it's not for some reason it's not piling up like it Ooh, that was a big piece I don't want that in there uh, how am I gonna get that out <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay well at least I broke it up okay All right, all right, all right. Now let's put the back piece on. That's not want to quite go in. I'm not sure why. Let me see. I might have to close it really quick. You know, it has these little sliding bars on the back. Oh, it was the actual bar in the way, the little sliding things. <laughs> That's what it was. I thought it wouldn't close. Okay. Oh, I just love it. It looks so romantic and cozy. Like, oh, you know, we should have did like maybe like a little bonfire. I think it came out gorgeous. <laughs> and I kind of like this one better than the other one. Oh, I got to find a spot for this one in my house. I really love it. I really love it. I got to clean the glass. And I hope it's only on the inside because you cannot get to the, I mean, I hope it's only on the outside. I can't get to the inside. Well, I could. I can just take the back off. See, the back was like that, four little tabs. And yes, yeah, I got it from the Goodwill for $209. Okay. Got some snow on the glass. Get that off. Okay, well, this that wraps up the tutorial. Let me um give you a better shot of okay there's that one and so i have to wipe off the glass a bit i can hardly see you're getting kind of like the 3d effect there it is oh i forgot i wanted to put this in there i forgot it says one way i forgot oh i can still put it in. i can just open up the back yeah i wanted to glue that on the side somewhere you remember how we hung up things in there so i wanted to give them something hanging too and that one came out so cute isn't that darling with the snow and the, the elves and the little angel, it came out so cute. I love them. They're kind of whimsical, cute, you know. Uh, let me see about this. Do I even need that? I think it would look cute right there. You see, it says one way. I think that would be cute. So let's, okay. All we have to do is remove the tabs. It shouldn't take but a second. And I want to see it says one way. It's a, um, a pendant. Vintage is so cute. Is it sterling? I don't think so. Let me see. Um, no, I don't think it's sterling. 
Um, just looks like um, it looks like rhinestones. I was just checking to make sure they're not diamonds, but there she goes. I'm gonna put it there. So I'm gonna put some glue, and um, I hope this works because I just noticed there's some like grooves. You see that in the back. So, like, I'm not sure how I'm going to glue it, but I'm going to show it, give it a try. I'm going to have to put a lot of glue in the center. Oh, no. Where's my glue sticks? I have them. Okay, that should work. I got to make sure I put it down enough. Oh, it may not even fit. It, oh, no, I moved my paper. You see, I got glue on here, but I'll let it dry. I don't know if it's going to fit. That beer might be too fat. We're going to try it. If, I, if anything, I'll just have to take it off. Let me see. Let me see. I didn't think. Oh, it hadn't dried yet. It's falling off. <laughs> Duh. I have to let it dry, Tanya. Okay, let it dry. Let me push it down. It's so hot. Because when I put all that glue, I have to use something. Okay. Yes, I ruined my own. My peach blanket, what I didn't want to do, just a piece of fabric, but um, that's why I put the crafting paper down, and I messed up that fast. It's not a big deal. It's just a piece of fabric, see? But I used it for my tutorial, so I don't want it to get ruined. Wow, that metal is so hot. I put so much glue on it. <laughs> Will it stay now? Let me see. Okay, I think it's in there now. It's dry enough. Okay, let's see. Okay, so far it's going in. Well, you can't see the arrow, though. Oh, no. Oh. I could have maybe put it in the middle. I can always take it down. Yeah, because you can't see the arrow. Am I filming? Yeah, can't see the arrow. And that was the, the cuteness of it, that arrow. Okay, so let's see if it comes. If it doesn't come off, we'll just leave it. But I need to put it in the center of the two spears. Let me pull it off real quick. It's still still wet. That glue hadn't dried up yet. So what I'm gonna do is move that leaf thing that we put down there. The good thing is I have a base now because I have all that glue in there. Okay. Put the little tree on this side. Yeah. I'm just cutting it because I don't want the sign to have the leaf on it. Isn't that cute? One way, you know, like when bears be in the um in the forest, they always follow signs. I don't know if you knew that or not. Well, I don't know if they follow the signs, but they always have signs. At least when I'm watching TV, I always see signs when I see a uh, pole with beers roaming around. Oh, no, this didn't stick. 
I want you to stick. Come on, stick. The glue is right there. Okay, we'll wait a while. We're going to let this dry some. Where's that paper? So I can give it a push. Just trying to get it, you know, into that background that we got going there. So it can dry all up. So initially I was going to use this, remember? But I thought that would be more whimsical and cute. But I don't know, that might have looked cute too. Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure I got the right thing in here. Let me put it on and see if I like it. One way. Wow, it looks beautiful. I love it. But how would that have looked? Oh, <laughs> they both look beautiful. Look at that one. That looks nice too. I don't know. I think I like the one way better. And since it's already glued in. One way. Um, I don't know. I think that other thing might look right. The little bird cage because of the pine cones. I hate when I do things like that. Okay, let's just pull you. Now I messed that all up. <laughs> so <laughs> I messed it all up. <coughs> Excuse me. This one actually looks better. I forgot all about this one. It was gonna be either or. And then I just totally forgot about it until just now I looked up. But I think this one looks better. Yeah, it's more outdoorsy than it has the Christmas theme on it. And it has the pine cones because we put pine cones in there, remember? So I like to incorporate things, but I'm going to have to try and peel this stuff off. It's so hot. I'm going to do it here on the floor, see if I can get it to come out. I guess when it dries, it'll just come right out. It looks like it's coming right out. Wow, see, look, they're coming right off. We got to wait for that uh, birdhouse to dry anyway. I mean, the glue gun dries immediately, pretty much, but when you use a lot, you got to let it simmer just a bit. Excuse me. I'm going to have to dig most of this out. You know, I could sell this pendant, so that's why I'm trying to get this stuff out. I don't know why I just didn't try the birdhouse first, and then this would have never happened. But the good thing about glue stick, it does come out. You're just going to have to fish it out, and then I'll probably have to soak it in some jewelry cleaner. So, I won't be able to sell it now. I ruined it, but I could use it in another project. Just like that, like how I glued it in there. I'll just use it in another project, yeah. Okay, I'll finish that. Let's go ahead and pop him in. doesn't want to even go in now. You know, what happened? Did I put it in the right way? I sure did. But look how darling that looks. Oh. The one-way sign was perfect, but that just kind of looks so much beautiful. Let me show you a better. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I kind of messed up the snow a bit by 
tossing and turning, but still looks gorgeous. Oh, I just love it. It's so cute. Look at those beers. They're just to die for. They have the cutest expressions. <laughs> hmm. And then that one is gorgeous. I think they came out great. Okay, God bless. I hope you enjoy. Get creative.